Greetings and blessings. This is another video of one of my DIY dog ramps for this dog. This is my mom's dog. Mom is a senior and dog is a senior. And dog recently blew out her leg ligament, making it very difficult for her to get up and down stairs and in and out of cars recently. So I decided to build another ramp for the house for those occasions where she has more difficulty, but also in the event that uh, the dog just cannot go up and down the stairs, my senior mother would not be able to carry her up and down the stairs. So this is really an essential option at this point for her. Let me show you if I can where we are. We are in a very remote area in the mountains. So, it was really critical for us to have this as some kind of an option in the event that uh, the dog just cannot go up and down the stairs. So I apologize for the wind out here if it interferes. The wind out here can be kind of ridiculous at times. Anyway, the, the ramp height is four and a half feet high and the length is 16 feet long. And it was really easy to make. Uh, it, it was really very affordable, very practical, and it's very durable. So I'd like to share how I made it and uh, hopefully it'll be some kind of help to somebody there. So I actually had the, the pieces around this place uh, to make it kind of a scrap, but really uh, it was just one sheet of plywood one four by eight sheet of plywood uh, three quarter inch thick and I ripped two lengthwise sections out of it that were 20 inches wide and I chose that intentionally uh, to allow for some room in the staircase for somebody to pass uh, if the ramp was down but I had these two lengthwise sections of 20 inches and I just laid those on the ground and I took the scrap piece that was left over and I cut a 20 inch section out of that and I just used that to overlap at the joint and screwed it from the bottom upward uh, just overlapping to support that joint area I'll flip this to the side and show you in just a moment but that is not enough to support the weight at that joint section to keep it from collapsing or from buckling. So the, the rails on this ramp and in general, I found to be critical to the support and to keep it from collapsing. These side rails just happen to be some small trees I had in the back. They're approximately three inches in diameter but I believe, you know, a person could use maybe some two by two or, or something like that. But the most critical part of the, the support is at that joint and having some sort of a, a, a strong support railing at that joint area. Um, the rest of the area on the ramp perhaps is more cosmetic, but uh, a, a ramp like this, of this distance, with some good strong support on the rails, I think is, is gonna be successful. In this case, it was. So the only other piece in the bottom is at the very top of the ramp underneath, I also took a section, in this case, it was another piece of the tree, 20 inches uh, wide, and I just put it under the lip of the very top just to hang over the top stair to keep the ramp from sliding around. So from underneath, I used some uh, construction screws and just uh, screwed upward from bottom up that overlapping plate or, or piece at the joint area and that small piece at the very top of the stairs. The only other construction piece of construction on this ramp is the, the carpet, which I use for traction. And the, the the carpet I just got from uh, the local dollar store. They had sections, one foot sections of this carpet. I got 16 pieces and uh, just trimmed them accordingly to fit in between those rails. 
So let me flip this to the side so you can see the general construction of it. And that's really about it. Come on, dog. Come on. You done? Come on. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Very good. Thank you, dog. There you can see it's just two lengthwise pieces of plywood with that one plate, that one piece in the center and another piece at the very top, as I mentioned. And I purposefully selected the size of 20 inches wide because that would allow a person to go up and down the stairs comfortably when the ramp is down. When the ramp is turned to the side like this, obviously, it allows for much more room, but I selected that size with that intention in mind, and it worked out very well. Overall, the ramp is really successful. It is really working well for us. It really is very durable, and it serves our purpose very well. So I hope this has been some help to you. I always try in my videos to uh, promote and support my home church and I'm gonna do that now Let me show you It is Faith Temple Church of God in Christ in Evanston, Illinois That's a Kojic church Church of God in Christ Their website address is faithtempleevanston.org and if you would like to contact them support them contribute what have you here's some ways to do that you can zell at give at faithtempleevanston.org you can text the word give to the phone number 833-341-0448 you can phone them tuesday through thursday 11 a.m to 2 p.m at phone number 847-328-3808 option number three, or you can mail them at their P.O. Box number 733, Evanston, Illinois, zip 60204, or their physical address of 1932, Dewey Avenue, Evanston, Illinois, 60201. So I thank you very much for your time. I do hope that this has been some help to somebody. I pray again that you are having a wonderful day, that you continue to have a great day and a great week, and may God bless you, your family, and all those that concern you. Blessings.